hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a beginner friendly how to make a closure wig a flat closure wig using a sewing machine so first things first so this is my canvas head that i'm going to be using to line the wig cap before we begin sewing so this is the wig cap that i'm going to be using the dome cap this one is the mesh one the one you can see through this is the type that i would highly recommend that's the one you can see through like this i usually like to put the smaller end in front i'm not here for you to blow your one and only chance these markings on the dummy head the canvas head they're not for fancy <laughs> they, they actually do serve a purpose so this is supposed to be the middle line so i'm going to put half of this part in the center kind of like you're doing a middle part so you're going to need t-pins lots of them so i'm going to put one t-pin here in the middle then i'm going to put more here you should know. all right so now we have our wig cap nice and steady so the hair we're going to be working with today is from bill fox hair i'm not sure i got the pronunciation right but i'm going to write it on the screen so i'm just going to quickly show you guys how many bundles we're working with so it came with a wig cap a 20 inch closure one bundle of 28 28, 26, 22, and 24. So this is loose wave. So I'm gonna start off with the closure. Another thing that you're going to need is Sharpie. You need a very good Sharpie. Most of these shoppies are rubbish. <laughs> so when you get a good one, you are very lucky. So the first thing I like to do is divide my closure into two. So that will give me the center. Then I'm going to take my Sharpie and measure it and mark it, sorry. So I know where to place it in the middle. Always cover your Sharpie very important otherwise you're going to dry it out so when you are putting your closure just bring it down a bit just a tiny bit like this you should be very mindful of when you're lining your closure you need to make sure it's very flat like you see how i'm pulling it removing the pins putting the pins back in i'm doing that so that my closure is as flat as possible so now our closure is nice and flat all right so we're going to start by lining the closure so the exact line where you placed it where you pinned it down is where you're going to put your line like this all right so i'm done lining the closure now i'm going to move on to the rest of the cap and you're going to need it's a measuring tape not necessarily but i like to use a measuring tape so that i can have precise lines so i'm going to put a tip in at one and start one right here right here like so 
and then I'm going to bring it all the way down so I have it pinned down here so this is going to be our guide I'm going to use one inch so 12 11 10 all right so now we're just going to extend the lines that we have created other people but for me I like to do these parts before I finish off I like to do the last lining that's this very last one here the one that goes around the closure I like to do it before I continue like the last two lines so that in case I make any mistakes these lines are the most important lines the ones the one going around the closure is so important all right guys there you have it our lines are ready my lines are rubbish i <laughs> know my hands are not really straight but yeah so now we're about to start sewing all right so now it's time to get down to work and this is the sewing machine that i used to make my wigs this is the singer sewing machine so the first thing we're going to do is take this wheeler it usually comes with the machine so you're going to need thread so this is the thread that i normally use we're going to put the thread through the hole after putting the thread through the hole, I'm going to take it round, round it just a little bit like this. So I'm going to put it around like this, then place it here. So when you place it here, you move it to the side. I'm going to put my thread here. This is like the thread holder. I'll just put it there. This thing right here usually comes with the sewing machine, so it's going to be on the floor and this is what you're going to step on when you're sewing. Another thing you need when you're sewing is a pair of scissors. So I'm going to cut off the excess thread here and I'm going to hold on to this part of the thread and start matching the... what's it called? I don't know what it's called, the thing on my, under my leg anyways. I'm just going to leave this thread on the table, it's usually easier for me like that. So while I'm stepping on that thing on the floor, I'm going to be taking the thread up, down, up, down, up, down until it's filled up. Let me move this closer for you guys to see. So. So it's full. I'm going to slide this, take it out. So there you have it, your wheeler is filled up with thread. So now we're going to take that thread that we already threaded and we are going to open this place right here. So we're going to open this place, open this up and bring it out. So you take the thread in the bobbin, put it in here like so then put it in the hole then take it around the second hole until you hear that sound then you are good to go then you open it up like this and push it back in there make sure this hook is facing up there like that so it's nice and firm in there then you close this up 
Then you take your thread. I usually like to keep my thread on the floor. If you're using a smaller thread, you can put it here where I already showed you before. But for me, I like to use this bigger thread. So now I'm going to show you guys how to thread the upper part of the sewing machine. All right, so the first step is you put your thread around this place like so. You can even see the directions on the sewing machine showing you which way to go. So like this. So this is one, you can see the arrow going down. So this is two, you can see another arrow here showing you what direction to go. This is three, go around. If this thing is not all the way here, you come here and push it up. It's up, so take it around. There's a small thingy by the side. You make sure you put it inside it. Then you bring it down, so four, now we're going to five. When you get to five, you bring it down and put it around this place right here then you thread your needle make sure you raise it all the way up like this from the side so you can easily see your needle to thread it after threading the needle i'm going to put it in between here like so and take it all the way to the back i'm going to twist this until it joins the thread under that thread under has come out yes so now we have two threads, one from the top and one from the bottom. All right, so now that we've threaded it, it's time to start sewing. I'm going to start with the longest length, which is between eight inches. All right, guys, so I put the camera at a different angle. I hope that this is a better angle for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is to double weft the hair. So when you're sewing it, it should be on top of each other like this not on top of each other like this so this is how it should be when you place it so now we're gonna start sewing so you back stitch you always back stitch at the beginning and at the end so this is where you, you click on to back stitch so you back stitch a couple of times I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning. Then backstitch. So I have four bundles. I'm going to double weft two and single weft the other two. I can hide. So when you want to start sewing, you literally just put your wefts on the lines that you already made. But one thing to note when you are sewing, don't pull your cap. If you pull your cap, you are going to have bumpy wigs. Your wigs are going to be bumpy. Just smoothing it out so it's flat. See, I'm not pulling. I'm just smoothing it. Just flattening it rather. So that this so that I can sew flat on the cap. So now I'm going to begin sewing. Remember backstitch. I will put out all of the fire. We stumble and fall. So 
I'm done with the first bundle to join the second bundle. Just put it side by side. With the one that just finished. Make sure it's on the same line. It can be quite tricky. You have to be patient with it. So you start to sew and backstitch. So yeah, that's it. Easy peasy. So make sure you always cut off very close to the wig cap so it's not sticking out. Back stitch. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when you are sewing, you want to make sure you are sewing on the first part of your double weave. You're not sewing here, you're sewing here so that I can lap flat with the cap yeah and then you always want to go in and cut off any excess threads inside so that your cap your hair is, your wig is neat on the inside like this thread like this this thread like this all right so i'm done with two bundles I'm about to start using the third bundle and I'm not going to double the weft. So how I usually calculate it to be sure, like I don't finish my hair before I'm done, is I just go around. Cause I was thinking of double wefting this third bundle, but I decided to just go around it to make sure to see how many lines one bundle can give me. And this one bundle can only give me three lines and I still have about one, two, three, four, five, six, six lines to go. So I'm not going to double the last two bundles at all. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. Oh, keep telling myself that. So now it's time to put the closure. I just finished bleaching the knots on the closure. All right, so I'm going to proceed to sew the closure on. We got that I'm done sewing on the closure now. I'm going to proceed to sew two more tracks and we are done. All right, so I'm done sewing the last track. So I'm about to sew the track that is going to lap around the closure. So you want to sew it as close together as possible. You want to make sure that two of them are side by side. So this is how close together you want the bundle and the closure to be be careful not to put the bundle on top of the closure it should be side by side This is the wig 
all done I just wanted to show you guys what the inside looks like I already cut off the lace I actually already wore it just now but I was like let me actually show you guys what the inside looks like so now I'm going to proceed to put the wig back on we, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and I know that we're not perfect but I'm gonna miss all that we had yeah I know that we're not perfect but I need this night for the last time stay that is it I hope you were able to grab one or two things on how to make a flat closure wig like this unit is flat and it's so funny that I learned how to make wigs here on YouTube and here I am teaching you guys how to make wigs on YouTube like it literally came full circle so I hope you were able to learn a thing or two. Do let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions for me. Like I said before, this hair is from Bill Fox Hair. I'm going to leave all the details in my description box below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I'll never forget we. Share